All right, Shalom, Shalom. Giving all praises and honor and glory that is due to Yahweh, Bashan Yahushai, Bashan Rakadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of great millstone who rule well. And as always, we give peace and salutations unto the elect that are scattered abroad. To the sincere brothers out there pushing this truth with our righteousness and sincerity, risking their lives and freedom to do so. And to the few out out the sisters that are listening and learning. To you faithful sisters, to you I say Shalom. It's your brother Andre coming back at you with another quick lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashan Yahushai. Lord willing to edify and to feed the lambs and to warn the sheep of what's to come. So, I watched a lesson from uh, the beloved brother from New York, brother Amwan Gabar. And, you know, I want to do my take on this uh, this lesson he did, you know, about what's about to come down, right? Because... <laughs> That hour of temptation is fast approaching, man, okay? The hour of temptation, this article came out yesterday, December the 5th, 2020, year of prophecy. Today is the December, today is this December the 6th, 2020, year of prophecy. So, I'm going to do my take on this lesson. I'm going to do my take on this article, basically, Sanaki, I'm sorry. All right, that he did, you know, because, hey, this eventually... This event is happening in New York, all right? It seems like everything starts in New York first, and then eventually it just spreads throughout throughout all 50 states. And eventually this is going to be throughout all 50 states, man, okay? So it seems like everything starts in New York first, and then <laughs> eventually every state seems to want to adopt these ways, man. But hey, that, these are the times we're coming into, man. Okay, this is from the New York Post.com. It says NYC New York DOE says teachers who refuse Crown Royal Dash 19 test will be removed from payroll. In other words, you won't get paid. <laughs> oh man. But hey, this is the hour of temptation. Okay? The hour of temptation that is fast approaching. You know. Hey, we're here. This is the end, man, okay? Without a shadow of a doubt, we're at the end. And hey, all praises to you. How about Shin Shai for speeding up the days, man? Because hey, we, we gotta get the hell out of here, man. Alright? We we need to. It's a it's a matter of must. We must get the hell out of here. Yahweh Shai has got to come and to deliver his elect. And hey, may the Lord keep his elect, man. That's in the UK because they're about to go through that hour temptation first. And then eventually it's going to lead over here to America, Babylon the Great. So, you know, to those hopeful left over there, those brothers that are out there teaching, you know, teaching the Israel the truth and to the sincere sisters that are listening because, hey, those those mandatory vaccines are going to be rolled out in the UK first. You know, then eventually it'll be over here probably in the next few weeks or so. So. May the Lord Yahweh Yahshai bless those and keep bless and keep those brothers and those sincere sisters that are over there and you know protect them you know and hey like I say in the video like I said in the last video we might see some beautiful things man hey we might see some things that happen over there first some of the brothers may be in grade with spiritual powers or something like that we don't know but hey we're gonna watch okay so. Without further ado, I'm not going to ramble on too long. Let's get into this article and, we'll, and then I'm going to apply some precepts and more willing this lesson be edifying because, hey, we're going to need Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, man. We're going to need this wisdom. And like it says in Isaiah 33 and 6, wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times, man. Because, hey, it's about to get real out here, all right, for you Israelites, man, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. It's about to get real. <clears throat> Get tested or get out. <laughs> the City Department of Education, all right, that's what that DOE stands for, posting an internal rule Friday for members of the United Feder Federation of Teachers warning that those who refuse to be tested for Crown Royal 19 in schools will be put on leave and take off and taken off the payroll. Excuse me. So there you have it. You won't be getting paid. 
if you refuse this, <laughs> if you refuse to get tested for Crown Royal 19, you're going to be taking off the devil's payroll. So, hey, like I say, it's, it's, it's upon us, man. UFT members who don't consent to testing within one week of returning to their buildings will be placed on leave, on administrative leave without pay, say the rule obtained by the post. It adds in reference to non-UFT schools, workers, guidance regarding other staff members who do not consent will be forthcoming. Okay, and this this here is gonna lead to seditions. Okay, because this ain't nothing but more draconian draconian measures are being used, and this is what is gonna eventually gonna lead to. You don't take that. You don't take care of Maxine Maxine water. Okay, you ain't gonna get paid. You won't be able to go in the grocery store. You won't be able to buy food, and then eventually it's gonna lead to that. The microchip, man. If you don't take that chip, you're going to be cut off from society. This is what it's all leading to, man. Okay? So, you can't say you have not been warned. You Israelites, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and the Americans. This is for, because this is who this is for. You Israelites, to repent. Okay? This is for you. So, you can repent. Okay? And take heed. You Israelites, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, and not to forget our, our speckled bird Israelites that are scattered amongst the heathen. To take heed to the warnings that we're telling you, man, because, hey, pretty soon, us warning you, well, that's about to go. So what you going to do? You can't say you have not been warned because all these things that we're speaking about and have been speaking out about, starting with the elders and the apostles, a great millstone and on down and the brothers that teach the doctrines like doctrines of great millstone have been telling you this. I've been telling you this for almost a, I've been telling you this for hell, a year and a few months. Brothers been telling you this longer. So he's here. Okay? And he ain't gonna be here two years, you know, warning you because hey, this this for, because the family of the word is about to set in, so I ain't going to make it to two years. But that's okay. I've been in this truth for two years. I know that one thing. And hey, the water you how about she y'all shy for waking me up to this and the truth and this knowledge. All right? And to the rest of you brothers out there and you sincere sisters and you men, women, and children believers out there, hey, bless all your eyes for they see. Bless all your ears for they hear, man. Because, hey, we're taking heed to the warning. But the two thirds of, but two thirds of our people, they're not taking heed. They don't know what the hell is going on. They don't have a clue what's going on, and they're gonna be the main ones that're gonna be caught out there, up a creek without a paddle. Okay, no southern saying. All right, <laughs> you know, the staffers will not be allowed to submit. Crown Royal 19 test results for a private doctor or other health pri other health care providers, the DOE said, decree. Alright, so I'm not gonna read this whole thing, man. You know, I will put it in the description box. Alright. So hey, I'm gonna read that, so I'm gonna leave it there. Okay, let's get some scriptures because hey. Through much tribulation, we're going to have to go through Jacob's trouble, man. And this is Jacob's trouble, okay? For all you false prophets out there that's not warning Israel and telling Israel that Jacob's trouble is not going to happen, Jacob's trouble is gay, you're about to find out. Not warning the sheep and not preparing the sheep and telling them to not to get killer Maxine water and not to take the microchip, saying that the microchip is not the mark of the beast. Saying it's it's a spiritual mark or it's John three sixteen, which is absolutely retarded. I H O I, I think that's H O I that said that shit, man. It's absolutely retarded. All right. Well, I tell you. Whew. Anyway, the Lord's about to deal with you, false prophets, man. 
for not warning the sheep. All right, and not preparing the sheep on what to do. This is Acts chapter 14 and verse 22, confirming the souls of the disciples and exhorting them to continue in the faith. And that's what the men of the Lord are doing. We're exhorting you to continue in the faith because shit's about to get hard out here, man. Like you say, like it says in Isaiah uh, 33 and 6, and I'm, I'm going to get it. Wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times. We're going to need this. Even when this truth is gone, we're still going to, you know, we're going to have those scriptures in mind. We're going to have, you know, you know, we might not have the, you know, the lessons or the, you know, the brothers out there teaching or the brothers on YouTube doing sit down lessons. But this wisdom, and this knowledge of these scriptures are going to be the stability of our time. And hey, the elect are not going to take none of those things that this devil's got to offer. OK, we're not taking none of that shit. All right. Acts 14 and 22 again, confirming the souls of the disciples and exhorting them to continue in the faith and that we must, we must through much tribulation enter into the kingdom of Yahweh. And we're going to have to go through that tribulation, brothers and sisters, that hour of temptation, Jacob's trouble to be tried. And hey, we're about to go through those trials, okay, to be tried, okay? To prove ourselves. <clears throat> this is 1 Corinthians chapter 10 verse 13. That there have no temptation taken you. But such as is common to man. But Yahweh is faithful. Who will not suffer you to be tempted above ye. That ye are able. But will. But will with. The temptation also make a way to escape. The Lord is going to make a way to escape. Isaiah 59 and 19, man. Okay. When the enemy shall come in like a flood, the spirit of the Lord, Yahweh, shall should lift up a standard against this devil. And the Lord is going to lift up a standard against these devils. The Lord is going to find us a way to escape out of these things that's coming. Okay. We might not be able to eat. The Lord's going to provide us a way to eat. Like it says in Isaiah 65 and 13. Behold, my servants shall eat, drink, and rejoice. But the rest, the two-thirds, hey, they're going to be hungry out here. They ain't going to know which way to turn. Okay? Egypt's about, Egypt, which is similar to America, is about to become their confusion and their shame. Because a lot of our people, they trust in Egypt. They trust in America, Babylon the Great. Okay? And Egypt is symbolic to America. Revelations 11 and 8. Okay? Our people trust in this place. They trust in Esau Edom. The same man. <laughs> Come on, man. Like Elder Malcolm would say, when in the hell has these devils ever put you first for anything? And all of a sudden, they want to put you first to take this... Um, this potion, love potion number nine. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> Gotta have a little fun in this truth, man. Because, hey. <sighs> Let's read this again. First Corinthians 10 and 13. There have no temptation taking you, but such as is common to man. But Yahweh is faithful, who will not suffer you to be tempted above that ye are able. So the Lord is not going to put more on us than we can bear, man. All right. But will, but will with the temptation also will make a way to escape that ye may be able to bear it. Okay. So the Lord is not going to put more on us than we can bear, man. The Lord is going to tempt us. The Lord knows us. Okay, the Lord Yahweh Bashin Yahshai, He knows our spirit. He knows He knows us better than we know ourselves. Let's put it that way. And He does. He knows us better than we know our own selves. So the Lord is not going to put us through anything that we're not going to be able to handle, brothers and sisters. Okay, you brothers out there, you hundred and forty-four thousand mighty men, and you sincere brothers that are, and you sincere sisters that are listening and learning, you believers. So the Lord is not going to put more on us than we can bear, man. The Lord knows our spirit. He knows us better than we know ourselves. 
He created us. Okay? All right? Like you said, before I formed thee, I knew thee. Okay? So the Lord knew us before we even came into existence. All right? Um, let's see. Uh, you know what? Since I mentioned it, I'm going to read it. I'm going to get Isaiah 33 and 6. Okay? Because, hey, we're about to come into some harsh times, brothers and sisters. And this is what we're going to need. This is Isaiah 33 and 6. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord, Yahweh, Shia, is his treasure. Okay? All right? So, you know, we know the times we're living in. Two-thirds of our people don't know the times we're living in. We're measuring the times diligently. All right? Our salvation is near. We're about to get the hell up out of here. Okay? So we got to hold on. We got to go through Jacob's trouble. Okay? Lord willing, we go through it. And hey, we be able to escape. And the Lord's going to find us a way to escape these things. We have to believe that, brothers and sisters. Okay? Let's get Isaiah 59 and 19 since I mentioned it earlier. Because it kind of goes with that, you know. With the scripture I just got through reading. Uh, 1 Corinthians 10 and... Damn, I forgot it already, but that's okay. You know, you get my drift. Alright, this is Isaiah 59, 19. So shall they fear the name of the Lord, Yahweh, Shem, Shai from the west, and his glory from the rising of the sun, when the enemy shall come in like a flood. Trying to urge in Maxine water and the microchip. The spirit of the Lord, Yahweh, Shem, Shai, shall lift up a standard against him. The Lord is going to find a way to us to escape these things. The Lord has got us, man. And we have to believe that strong heartily. I don't just tell you that. I tell myself that. I don't, you know, do these lessons for you. I do these lessons for myself. To tell myself this. Because, hey, in the flesh, <laughs> yeah, we get scared. And we're like, damn, man. All this, this, and we're like, wow. And you hear about these things, you're like, damn. But we can't let the flesh overtake us, man. We cannot let this flesh overtake us. And you know what? Let's get some. Uh, it's Ephesians 5, I mean not 5, Slocky 6, and let's see, mm, I'll start at verse, I'll start at verse, I'll start at verse 10, Ephesians 6 and 10, finally my brethren, be, brethren is talking about the elect, be strong in the Lord Yahweh Shem Shai and in the power of his might, put on the whole armor of Yahweh that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil, man. All right? And that wild, that word wiles goes back to the uh, word, it goes back to deceits, okay? All right? The wiles, deceits, trickery of the devil, which is Esau, even the so-called white man. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rumors of the darkness of this world and who's ruler of this world with Satan and of course Esau even the so called white man the whole world is lying in wickedness Job 9 24 says the earth is given into the hands of the wicked alright against spiritual wickedness in high places wherefore take unto you the whole armor of Yahweh that ye may be able to withstand the evil withstand in the evil day and that evil day is talking about Jacob's trouble which is fastly upon us brothers and sisters and having done all to stand there stand therefore having your loins gird about with truth and having on the breastplate of righteousness so hey okay we got to put on that full armor man which is this truth Okay, this truth, this wisdom, this knowledge. Okay, <clears throat> let's see what I want to go to. 
Let's go here. All right. <clears throat> this is Second Peter chapter two and verse nine. The Lord Yahweh Shai knoweth how to deliver the godly out of temptations. Did you hear that? Like he says in Isaiah 59, 19, the Lord is going to deliver his elect. Let's read this again. Second Peter 2 and 9 again. The Lord Yahweh Shai know, knoweth how to deliver the godly out of temptations and to reserve the unjust unto the day of judgment to be punished. And who is the unjust? That's talking about two-thirds of our people. All right? That's not heeding the words of the Lord Yahweh Shai. They're not heeding the words. They ain't trying to heed the words. Okay? Uh, let's see. I'm going to read verse 10. But chiefly, but chiefly them that walk after the flesh in the lust of uncleanness and, dis, and despite government, presumptuous are, are they. Self willing, self willed, they are not. They are not afraid to speak evil of diligentness. Whereas angels, with which are great, greater in power and might, bring not really acute accusations against them before the Lord Yahweh Shion Shai. Okay, but these. As natural brute beasts, it's talking about two thirds of our people, made to be taken and destroyed. <laughs> what scripture comes in mind? Zechariah chapter uh, 13 and verse 8 and 9, where it says that two parts therein shall be cut off and die, man. Okay? Speak evil of the things that they understand not, and they do. Okay? They speak evil of the things that they understand not. They thinking Jacob's trouble is gay. Thinking nothing's going to happen. Thinking things are going to go back to normal. No, man. This is it. And shall utterly perish in their own corruption. A lot of our people are going to perish in their own corruption, man. That's no saving the two-thirds. Can't say we tried. Because, hey, the blood's off our hands. We warned you of the things to come. So the blood is off of the elect's hand. We warned you that the sword is coming. We warned you that these times were coming. But two thirds didn't take heed. And to those that took heed, hey, blessings be unto you, man. May the Lord Yahweh Shia protect you, brothers and you sincere sisters that took heed to the truth. But to two thirds, the hell with you, man. Okay? And hey, I hate to be like that, but hey, these are the times we coming into. <laughs> hey, you didn't take heed, that's 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 you. You're going to be the, either the Lord didn't want you to get this true, and hey, the Lord didn't want you. Plain and simple. The Lord didn't want you, and you were just a two-third that's just destined to die on this side. That's, that's just plain and simple. Okay, let's just call it for what it is. Okay? This is James chapter 1 and verse 12. Blessed. Is the man that endureth temptation, for when he is tried, he shall receive the crown of life. And that's what the men of the Lord will fight for, a crown of life. And they say, be thou faithful unto death, like it says in uh, Revelation 2 and 10. And I got that scripture too. It says, be thou faithful unto death, and I will give thee a crown of life. And that's what the men of the Lord will fight for. We're fighting for a crown of life. We're fighting to be the first to get the hell out of here, man. We want to get out of here. We're sick of this place. This place is absolutely wicked as hell. This place is depressing. Okay? Day after day, we got to be in these fleshly bodies and got to see these damn red devils over us. Esau eat them. This place is depressing. We're ready to get into the kingdom and be at rest. That's when true rest is going to come. You can't get no rest here. Micah 2 and 10 says, Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest, because it is polluted. It shall destroy you even with a sore destruction. This place is depressing. You can't get no rest here. <laughs> Man. No peace either. But that's okay. 
peace is true peace is coming to the to the elect, man. Come to the Israelites, starting with the elect of Israel, man. We're going to know true peace and true rest. We're going to be at rest. And then we're going to have these heathen nations, including Esau, Edom, under our feet, man. And hey, they going to know what it's like to be us. Especially Esau, Edom, the so-called white man. They're going to know what it's like to be us. They're already finding out what it's like to be us. But hey, those curses are going to get... <laughs> them curses going to get worse. Get ready for captivity, Esau, Edom, and the other nations. Plain and simple. James 1 and 12 again. Blessed is the man that endureth temptation. For when he is tried, he shall receive the crown of life, which the Lord Yahweh shall have promised to them that love him. See? And that's what we're fighting for, man. A crown of life. Okay? Mm. Yeah. I was thinking of something snarky. Uh, Let's see. Let's get this. Then I'll go there. This is Ecclesiastes 2 and verse 1. My son, if thou come to serve the Lord Yahweh, Yahweh, prepare thy soul for temptation. Set thy heart aright and constantly endure and make not haste Haste in time of trouble. Okay? So that we have to constantly endure, man. Cleave unto him. Cleave unto Yahweh and And depart not away. That thou may be. Mayest be increased at thy last end. And we're at the last end. Whatsoever is brought upon thee. Take cheerfully. And be patient when thou art changed to a lower state. Even if it means being put out of our homes, even if it means losing our jobs, endure. Take it cheerfully. Okay? Because, hey, we're about to end into those times. Okay? <clears throat> For gold is tried in the fire and acceptable men in the furnace of adversity. Believe in him and he will help thee. Order thy way aright and trust in him. And that's what the elect is doing. The elect are trusting in the Lord Yahabashin Yahushai. Okay? Ye that fear the Lord Yahabashin Yahushai, wait for his mercy and go not aside, lest ye fall. Ye that fear the Lord Yahabashin Yahushai, believe him and your reward shall not fail. Did you hear that? Let's read that again. That's beautiful. Ecclesiastes of Sirach 2 and 8. Ye that fear the Lord, Yahweh Shai, believe him, and your reward shall not fail. Ye that fear the Lord, Yahweh Shai, hope for good and for everlasting joy and mercy. And that's what we're hoping for everlasting joy and mercy. The kingdom of heaven is going to be that. Just like that, man. Verse 10. Look at the generations of old and see did ever any trust in the Lord Yahweh and was confounded, or did any abide in his fear and was forsaken, or whom did he ever despise that called upon him? And the answer is it's nobody. Okay, the Lord did not despise anyone who called upon him, and did anybody trust in the Lord Yahweh was confounded, or was forsaken? No. Okay? The answer is no. Verse 11. For the Lord Yahweh is full of compassion and mercy, long suffering, and very pitiful, and forgiveth sins, and saveth in time of affliction. The Lord is going to save us, man, in these times that we're coming into. We have to believe that strongly. Let's get this. One of my favorite scriptures go to. Because, <clears throat> hey, these are the times we're coming into. This is Luke 18 and verse 7 and 8. And shall not Yahweh avenge his own elect which cry day and night unto him, though he bear along with him? I tell you that he will avenge them speedily. Nevertheless, when the Son of Man cometh, 
Shall he find faith on the earth? And the answer is yes. The Lord is going to find faith on earth through his elect. That should give you hope right there, man. We're prisoners of hope. This is what we're hoping for. Okay? Revelations 2 and 10. I'm going to read this first. Revelations 2 and 10. Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison. And hey, these devils are going to cast some of us into these FEMA camps for refusing evil Maxine Waters and refusing the microchip. That ye may be tried, and ye shall have tribulation ten days. Be thou faithful unto death, and I will give thee a crown of life. How do you get around that, man? Okay? And that's what we're fighting for. Okay? And what scripture I get I do reading? I forgot already. Um, let's see. Hold on, let me. Yeah. Uh, I believe it was. No, that wasn't it. Shalak you. No. Scripture, I just got to read that in, man. Mm. Oh, wow, that slipped my mind. Um, damn, what scripture was that, man? Wow. Uh, that's okay. I, you know, you get the bit. But hey, you get it, though. Uh, let's go to the next scripture. I don't want to hold this out too long, man. Okay, but like it says, be thou faithful unto death. Okay, oh, I know what it was. James, yeah, let's go back. Yeah, Jane, I know what it is now. James, and I don't forget what script. I think it was James 1 and, can you believe? No, James 1 and 12. Yeah, right here. Okay, James 1 and 12 again. Blessed is the man that endureth, tempt endureth temptation, for he, from when he is tried, he shall receive the crown of life. This goes perfectly well with uh, Revelations 2 and 10. Which the Lord, Yahweh, and Shai hath promised to them that love him, man. Okay, this goes perfectly well with Revelations 2 and 10. Okay? <clears throat> it says, Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil, which is Esau, Edom, shall cast some of you into prison. And that's those female in concentration camps. That ye may be tried, and ye shall have tribulation ten days. Be thou faithful unto death, and I will give thee a crown of life. That's what the men of the Lord are fighting for. A crown of life. Alright? So we can live forever, man. Okay? And we're going to live forever. Be changed out of these corruptible bodies that get sick. Okay, and being and put on those new bodies that got spiritual powers, okay, like a metamorphosis, all right. And we're gonna shed these old bodies, we ain't gonna be able to get sick anymore. None of that junk, no more sickness, no more diabetes, heart disease, none of that. Our bodies are gonna be perfect. The law, statutes, commandments written in our inward parts, and that's the only thing that's going in the elect, man. I hate to tell you, Maxine water ain't going in us, and no microchip is not going in the elect. The only thing that's going in the elect are those laws, statutes, and commandments, all 613 laws. That's what I want in me. All right? Plain and simple. Last scripture. Revelation 3 and 10. Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. Behold, I come quickly. Hold that fast which thou hast, that no man take thy crown. Hold on, brothers and you sincere sisters. Things about to get bumpy. Jeremiah 30 and 7, Daniels 12 and 1. All right, it's about to be a time of trouble that's never been spoken of in human history. But the elect, and only the elect, 144,000 one-third believers, men, women, and children believers, we're going to be delivered out of these times of trouble. Two-thirds of our people, not so much. So with that, I'm going to end it there. Lord willing, I'm going to let 
Go away, and I pray this lesson was edifying. I'm going to leave it here. I'm going to close it out by giving all praises and honor and glory that's due to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rakakadash. Them lines to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone rule well, and as always, we give peace and citations to the hopeful elect that scattered abroad. See you with another lesson soon, Lord Willing. Kwam Yasharanga, Shangawam, and Y Ababa Ball. Shangawam.